My name is Giovanni Zelko. I'm the writer, director, and executive producer of the interview. And I'm going to be taking you on a ride to show you how it all came to be, how we started the project, and where the film is going. And hope you enjoy the ride. Working with Harry Lennox was an absolute joy for me. I had seen his work for many years in different films. He's a great character actor, but he's so much more than a character actor. He really can carry a film on his own. These are four of my best men here. I don't expect you or anyone to beat all of them at one time. I just want to see if you can survive, if you can take a beating. You can learn a lot about a man when he's taking a beating. You're still standing after 60 seconds, you got a job. He has a tremendous wealth of knowledge as an actor, as a thespian. He is a, uh, a great student of Shakespeare and also a great teacher of Shakespeare. He is first and foremost an actor. He's truly an actor's actor. He puts his heart and soul into any role he plays. And that was no different than creating the character Draco for this part. Okay. Friend, whatever you say. He and I worked in a, rather briefly in developing his physical nature, how he would walk with a limp, how he would speak with a slight raspy voice because of um, a prosthetic scar he placed on his throat to show that he has his own battle wounds. The concept behind the Draco character when I was developing the story was to create an individual that had been to hell and back and that had survived many, many battles and had been kicking and screaming his whole life and just clawing his way up to the top. Now that he's there at the top, he's still very cautious. He surrounds himself with the best men he can find. Are you clean? Yeah, I'm clean. And you better be. Harry truly carried this character to another level. On paper, I can only do so much to create a character. It really takes an actor of Harry Lennox's caliber to bring so many little nuances and reality to that person, and he does so tremendously well. I think the Draco character is one of the most complex villains I've seen on film in a long time, and I'm honored to have created him via Harry Lennox, and hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more of Draco in the feature film. Working with Tom Voss has been a joy. Tom and I actually had done a film together prior to this, uh, another short film of mine called Theogony. Tom had a small part in it, and he did such a great job. He's such a dedicated actor. I really wanted to work with him again. He is new to Hollywood, and I'm excited because I feel that the interview is going to be a launching mechanism for him into the stratosphere. He has everything it takes for an actor to be an action star. He has the international capability of pleasing audiences all over the globe, and he has a charisma that is unteachable. He is truly a very unique and gifted and talented person, and as an actor, he brings out the best in him. He has 110% focus when he's on set and preparing for a part. He and I worked um, at great length in creating the Ivan character to bring it to a level where it is completely uniform to the concept of the stoic man. I remember you said that. I think uh, very few people can actually carry that off at that level, especially since Tom is working with such a high caliber, such a high caliber thoroughbred of an actor like Harry Lennox. The two of them had great chemistry on set, they had great chemistry on camera. I thought this was an interview. It is an interview. 
Ivan. Why well, I came to talk. The day you talk with your fist. There is no other actor out there that I have seen in Hollywood or around the world that has Tom's look and his tremendous physique and his tremendous charisma. It is a joy to work with an actor of Tom's caliber who brings something completely unique and completely special to the screen. When I was looking for the character to play Knight, I had a dilemma. I needed to find an actor who had a tremendous physique, who was very, very tall, because Harry Lennox is 6'3", 6'4". I needed to find an actor who was as tall as he, but bigger. And that is not an easy feat. So I started meeting with different actors that I knew who had physical presence that could play such a part. And in the end, I chose Razor. Drop it! Now! Razor is just a joy to work with. He's an excellent, excellent actor. He is nothing like you see on screen, which is kind of a scary guy. Razor is uh, just one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. He always has a smile on his face, always uh, in good humor and a joke and a laugh. So when I was considering him, I didn't know if he could pull it off because I needed Razor to play the character Knight with a steely death in his eye and just have this death look and be able to just scare the bejesus out of you without even saying a word. Razor Nail is a character of Knight like no one possibly could. He has the right stature, the right physique, and the right look in his eyes. And that's something that's really difficult to teach and it's difficult to learn. Someone just has to have it or not. And Razor definitely has that. Nah, man. I'm not Draco. Razor nailed it. He did a great job and I was very happy and pleased with his performance and I definitely look forward to working with him again.